welcome back to Alan the Wake. Welcome, welcome back to the game here. Welcome back. This has been a crazy start to this, but we're having some fun doing it. By crazy, I mean there's a crap ton of uh, things to get. Just be careful with the natives, Al. These yokels are dangerous. Okay, so it's sort of here. Everybody Oops. hates a tourist. Or it'll be deliverance all over again. Is Archie. Okay, the third step from here. Huh? Batteries. Okay. So we're back to where we left off previously. All right. Why is that locked? Can I go out this door? Well, that door's locked. Is there a way around it? Because normally... You literally have to look for every possible thing when it comes to, uh... Look for these collectibles. A hundred plus, a hundred thermoses and a hundred like eighteen total pages, which is crazy to even think about. I'll wait here, Al. I'll hold down the fort. I'll be with you in spirit every step of the way, Al. Watch the door now. Well, thank you. I have the revolver right away. I'll take that. Alright, so we need to go to Lover's Peak. It can't be that far out. I knew I should have gone to the cops. This wasn't the smartest thing I'd ever done, but I was still angry with Barry for trying to talk me out of it. These people had called me right in the sheriff's station. The cops wouldn't scare them, and they had Alice. They got me. It's kind of suck. Anything up here? You never know what you're gonna find in this game. Oh no. Welcome back to the show, folks. As promised, our very own Dr. Nelson has just parked his rear end in the studio. Doc, what's your Deer Fest plan like? My plan? You make it sound a lot more organized than I ever seem to manage. <laughs> oh. Oh. No plan, really. Just taking the atmosphere. I'm getting a little too rickety to do much more than that, you know. Oh, tell me about it. No sack race for us older gentlemen, huh? <laughs> yes, exactly, Pat. But I'm going to check out the parade, of course. And I'll be one of the party contest judges, too. Uh, well, that takes a different kind of constitution. <laughs> oh, yeah. It's my kind of exercise. Now, Doc, seriously, you're in pretty good shape, though. You're the outdoors type. I, I know for a fact you're an avid fisherman. That's right. Matter of fact, just caught a heck of a largemouth bass early this morning. But you're not taking part in the fishing contest? No, no, not this year. Um, see, Pat, I'm just not that competitive anymore. Now I just like to take my time and enjoy the peace of it. It's no fun if I need to worry about what I'm catching, you know? Well, considering your track record, the participants are probably pretty happy you feel that way. <laughs> well, Pat, that's kind of you to say. Okay. That's always fun. Alright. According to my notes, next thing ain't for some time, so that's good. <sighs> that was weird. 
Oops. Driver's done. Well, near my wad. Next thing's in the cabin here. It's a TV, boys. Oh no! Crime and punishment. The cancer and cure of civilization. But some crimes are impossible to punish. Especially in Night Springs. Tonight's episode. to killing that guy, huh? Why? And it coming? Yeah, but why would you do that? I mean, you're a nice guy. Normal. Took a kid to a soccer game. So how come at the game, you pick a guy and, quoting from the arresting officer's report here, assault the victim's head area repeatedly with the weapon of choice being a pair of bare fists? Wow. That sounds really close, huh? Maybe you're not the literary type. Okay. So you mess him up. But why? Who was that guy? We couldn't ID him. Why would a guy like you do him like that? I didn't like his face. Well, you must have hated it, because you really went to town there. I mean, there's no way to tell what he looked like. No ID on him either. That must be difficult. But then we ran the fingerprints. Got a match. Your prints. Identical. Huh. How about that? Your son said you were wearing a white shirt when you took him to the game. The white shirt is on the dead guy. It's plenty red now. You won't get away with this. Do you really think that's in any way relevant to me? I had plenty of time to talk to my boy before the cops arrive, you know? He won't stop screaming, am I right? You think he's ever gonna be okay? <laughs> I left my mark. Believe me. You, you bastard. What? You gonna shoot me? What's the point? I'm going to prison. You got me. I... I don't understand any of this. And you never will. Don't worry. Maybe you'll see me again, Agent. Maybe in the mirror. The man in the mirror. Springs is always weird. The birds are real. Alright. Well, let's see if I'm right about this game being the most random spots possible for these items. Yep. My notes are amazing. Uh, 
We'll be okay. We're still office was locked. I'd need a key to get in. Oh, there it is. Actually, that's not what I'm looking for. Oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. It's just thermos in here. I can come upstairs. Alright. Rusty's in here. Let's go save him. That actually hurts. I should have known better, but back here. I'm back here. Hey. Mr. Wake? <laughs> oh hell. It happened. Just the way it was on that page. I found came true. It knew. So dark. It'll come back for me. You must the lights. In the office. I have the key. Okay, Rusty. Hang on. I'll be right back. Whatever did this couldn't be far. Rusty had found a page from the manuscript. It would help me understand what had happened. Hmm. That's kind of weird. The only way to make sure that Rusty was safe was to get the power running and the lights back on. I feel like there should be something here. You know? Yeah, for a game that's 10 years old, this game still looks really good. But I feel like, like I said, I feel like I'm missing a thermos. Oh, pfft. Oh, I right past it. I'm awesome. Kind of fun. It was that? too late. Someone had destroyed the circuit breaker. There was no way to get the lights back on. That's a Rusty! Rusty! was covered with oily patches that looked like liquid darkness. Something had torn a mammoth-sized hole in the wall. Don't feed the animals. Oh no. Fishing is only permitted for those prisoners who purchase a park fishing license. Domain. The park ranger's instructions at all times. Rusty, Rusty, no, never. Great, he's a mini boss. Never approach any other world or closer than. 25 yards. That's must be the Never leave your pet on a Come on, Rusty. 
Don't do it. It is against the law to remove any such historical artifacts from the park. This includes even. Sorry, Rusty. Be careful because I have like no ammo. Is there anything in here at all I'm missing? Guess not. Where's the dog? Hmm. Okay, this is good. Forget about it, Barry. It's just me going crazy. <laughs> oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. You're not crazy. I wish you were crazy, but you're not crazy. Ow, be careful. Stay in the cabin. Don't open the door for anyone. I mean it. That's a pretty bright light. Ah, oh, there it is. That's what I'm looking for. Gun. Okay. Okay. I saw that. Lover's Peak was at the far end of the nature trail. Going is that a cave? Where you go with that shotgun? Don't get me wrong, I needed the uh, shotgun, but. And I'll get the revolver out because we're going to need it. Okay, no big deal, not a big deal at all. Wait, I missed uh, I missed one. Sorry guys, let me go back for a second. I missed one of our uh, collectibles. I think it's right here. 
Uh... No, I'm sorry, it's back in the cave. But they got like there are so many missable collectibles, it's crazy. Like, the sun... I, I get to read this sun, don't you? Yep. The fact you need 25 signs is crazy to me. Alright. Now we made some progress with that one. So guys, what we're going to do is we're going to take a small bullet break. Next time we're down lake, we'll continue off our, our na nature trail to Wilbur's Peak. I'll see you then.